Hi, my name is Junior Hoops. I'm the Family Advocacy Program Manager here at Army Community Services for the Kaiser Slaughter and Baumholder areas. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about healthy and unhealthy coping skills. We all have coping skills, whether we know consciously or, un or unconsciously. We all have these skills that it basically, when we're stressed, anxious, depressed, showing grief or loss, these are all strategies that we can use. And so we can do, we can do we're going to talk a little bit about some of the unhealthy coping skills that individuals have done in the past and what are some healthier ways you can deal with, with these situations. One of the first things for unhealthy that people will do for kind of self-medicate, either that's with drugs or alcohol, this is a terrible way of, of coping with stress, anxiety, grief, loss, uh, depression, anger. So watch what you're consuming. Uh, try not to use anything like, uh, like that. Just try to self-medicate. The next thing is overeating. A lot of times individuals will, will overeat and then they purge or do these other things. This is a terrible way of doing, again, of coping skills. One of the others is procrastination. Sometimes we just don't feel like doing stuff because of the way we're feeling. And so we will not do things that we need to, whether that's at work or some other things, tasks that we might have to do. So procrastination, well, again, watch what you're doing when you're procrastinating. What you're also going to find is sleep. Either individuals will sleep too little or they'll sleep too much. So they're staying up all night, kind of dozing, falling asleep versus getting real sleep. Or they just stay in bed and they just kind of just sleep throughout the day and just kind of wake up a little bit and keep sleeping. This is really bad for our bodies. So just, again, make sure that we're getting proper sleep versus too much or too little sleep. Social withdrawing. It's kind of hard right now to sometimes get out and see your friends and families and things like that. So again, watch how what we're doing. Try to get out, and we'll talk a little bit about that as well. So the salt withdrawing uh, from individuals. Self-harm is another big one. The individuals uh, would generally sometimes will do is self-mutilating, cutting ourselves, burning ourselves, um, withholding things from ourselves for self-harm. So this is another uh, poor coping skill. And the other one is aggression, acting out, whether that's physically uh, or, or emotionally we're, uh, being aggressive to individuals. So again, watching how we're reacting to individuals. Now, these are some unhealthy coping skills. So we're gonna talk about some healthy coping skills. One of the, the best ways for healthy coping skills is exercise. It doesn't have to be extreme exercise, it could be walking and things like this. So again, getting some exercise, getting those endorphins kicked in and trying to help ourselves through that, through that way talking about your problems, either with family, with friends, or another coping skills, reaching out to professional individuals when you're having these stress with anxiety, stress, anxiety, anger, grief or loss. So reaching out to individuals, talking to them, asking them for, for assistance, either they're talking to them about your situation and getting advice from them, or again, reaching out to a professional. Healthy eating. This is very important. Research has shown that high fatty foods increases stress anxiety so again you want to try to eat as healthy as possible fresh fruits and vegetables sometimes it's hard with fresh fruits and vegetables and it can, can be expensive so go frozen fresh is the best if you can't do that frozen if all else canned fruits and vegetables the problem with canned fruits and vegetables a lot of times it's high sugars and high sodium so fresh is better than frozen frozen is better than canned canned is better than nothing but again, you wanna to try to stick to the fresh or frozen uh, fruits and vegetables. Relaxation techniques. So you can find these online a lot of times. It can co coach you through it or little things that will tell you how to do it. So it's just deep breathing exercises, either lying down and relaxing or sitting in a chair in a relaxing position. So these are some things you can do. So, some nice deep breathing exercises or some visualization exercises you can do. And again, you can find a lot of these online. So we don't endorse any one of them, but you can find them online. Using social support. So again, sometimes it's hard to get out right now. So again, reaching out to family and friends, either here or in the States, through Messenger or FaceTime or some of these other avenues, and reaching out and talking to them as much as possible so you can help you through these, through these difficult times. And the last thing is problem solving skills or problem solving techniques. What are some things I can do in this situation versus overeating or versus out drinking? What are some things I can do when I get in a certain situation? So problem solving skills, they don't necessarily take the problems away, but they help diminish the effects of it on us. So again, looking at a situation, 
What's a healthier way for me to handle this, this situation? Again, you might exercise and do these other things. It might not take the problem away, but what it does do is it helps diminish the, the effects that's on our bodies, uh, whether that's physical or emotional. Like I said, we talked today a little bit about our healthy coping skills and unhealthy coping skills. Please follow us on Facebook. We do have classes here at ACS at Army Community Services through Family Advocacy that you can reach out and do in classes in person or MS Teams. So please follow us on Facebook or look up our calendar. Like I said, my name is Junior Hoops. I'm the Family Advocacy Program Manager here at Army Community Services. Thank you. Have a great day.